Hi, my name is Rich Brown, co-owner of Digby Industries, and we believe that the customer always comes first. Our mission is to produce competitive products that meet the needs of our customers while establishing a dominant place in the market. Our high and low tech products will satisfy the cutting edge technology that our customers require, as well as products that meet financial limitations which perform at the top of its class. Not only will we continue to meet the needs of our customers, but we will produce a product that is cutting edge. As we look into the future performances of Digby Industries, we plan on staying on the leading edge of these markets, constantly improving our product. As we pursue an overall span of the low and high-tech markets, we will still follow our plan to focus on new high-tech products. Digby Industries is driven to always push the envelope with our research and development engineers to create new reliable ideas and technology to revolutionize these industries and the world. Here at Digby, we're investing in your future. In the low-tech market, our highest competitor has been the company Baldwin. But really, since the beginning of our company, we've only had one product in that industry. And so for the next couple of years, we plan on introducing a new product into the low-tech market that will be able to compete with our competitors. Now, our main focus since our company has been started has been in the high-tech, with our products Duck and Doe. Our leading competitor there has been the company Ferris. However, we plan on having a huge increase in our MTBF, as well as in our in our size, and in addition, we plan on reducing the cost of our products to adhere to our mission statement. Over the last seven years, Digby Industries has experienced its highs and lows, and some of these critical incidences that we've experienced have been in the early phases of our company. We failed to invest heavily in automation and capacity, which resulted in later rounds, lesser products able to be produced, also leading to high emergency loans, which were caused to be paid over the next several years. Another one of these experiences that we had was in 2011-2012, due to poor forecasting, we failed to produce the appropriate amount for the market, leading to high inventory and a great deal of pain throughout the course of the next several years. Some of these numbers for the upcoming future are as follows. Return on assets, 21%. Return on sales, 25%. Return on equity, 34%. Yearly sales, 129.5 million contribution margin 52 percent and net profits 26.8 percent and with these forecasted numbers Digby Industries has a very bright future. Over the past seven years Digby Industries has grown to be a provider of cutting-edge products. Each year we invest in the future by increasing our plant capacity and automation by one point. This year Digby Industries is doing better financially than ever before. We plan to invest in the, our TQM to help reduce our material and labor costs. We also plan to pay off our debt that the company has. To keep our stock price rising, we have retired $2 million worth of stock. There's never been a better time to invest in Digby Industries. 